Chad on the phone, and uh, something that uh, often comes up, I'm always watching things about this uh, on television, we're talking about uh, cowboy builders, um, are costing the UK economy a lot of money, and the, the cost of that is actually as much as uh, £10 billion per year. Quite unbelievable, actually. And, uh, you know, I mean, gosh, you you just got to watch out uh, and make sure that you're savvy. We're going to be uh, chatting now with... Uh, Richard Beresford uh, from the National uh, Federation of Builders. Uh, welcome to the programme. Good morning. Good morning, Phil. How are you? Great. Well, especially now the sun's shining, you see here. It's absolutely fantastic. <laughs> and it must be good for builders as well, I think. Uh, always good for builders. <laughs> Cowboy builders are costing the UK um, up to £10 billion pounds a year. Uh, uh, that, that's quite astonishing. Um, I mean, you know, what, what on earth is the, the background to this, first of all, before we delve into it a little bit? Well, the actual investment in doing sort of home improvements is about 500. But what we're finding is because people are not using uh, professional builders from a federation like the NFB and possibly looking elsewhere, they're finding that they're having to go back again. Uh, it's just preposterous that uh, for a 500 million investment, it's costing the, the public 10 billion overall to actually fix up these problems. Yeah. And this can be completely deviated if uh, you initially go through to uh, find the builder service that we have at the National Federation of Builders and get yourself a professional builder. What sort of things can you think of? I mean, I can think of small things like, for instance, I had a, uh, I bought a house where the bathroom had just been done up and then, you know, didn't realise, hadn't done some of the plumbing properly and then it caused a load of leaking and I managed to save the day more or less, but that could have ruined the ceiling downstairs that was just also brand new. Well, the first thing you should do, if you do note any problem at all with your bathroom, is go onto a Federation uh, website and find yourself a professional builder. It's the first port of call, and, and it makes sense to do that. So from our point of view, you can go onto www.builders.org.uk, press on the Find the Builder button, and then put your postcode in, in your case, St Albans, and you'll find a number of professional NFB builders in your area. Yeah. Well, in my case, I managed to get a nice new bathroom done uh, after the, the problem, but, and, and it's, it's, you know, wonderful. Now, how much uh, value does the average home improvement add to your property then? Well, it does really vary. I mean, it's a very good area at St Albans, but if you're doing your bathroom or your kitchen, you're probably looking at a, probably a 5% upwards uh, increase on the value of your property. But if you're going towards more of a, a loft extension or extension on your house, possibly 10% or more. Yeah. And, and these things all cost all sorts of uh, varying prices. We could be looking at uh, uh, getting a cheap quote and it's probably not by a builder. So, you know, that uh, that might encourage us to save the money. But in the long run, it's not a good idea. That's what we're saying, isn't it? Well, I, I think so, most definitely. You know, the old adage, um, pay cheap, pay twice. Um, if you want to put value on your home, your uh, house or your flat or wherever you live at the moment is probably the most valuable asset that you and your family own. I mean, the last thing I personally want to do is to get an amateur in there. I want to get a professional builder in there to increase the value. Yeah. And what are the warning signs then uh, that builders might not be trustworthy? I can think of a few myself, but please well, the, tell me. <laughs> the first question I would ask with anybody coming to your home is, are you a member of a federation? Right. And if they say no, ask the question why. Other red flags that will be going up... Um, you know, do they have insurance? If anything happens to your property, are you covered? Do they have any public liability? Ask for testimonials and references from past jobs. And if none of that's coming up and there's red flags, that's the time to avoid that particular builder. Get onto a federation website, so www.builders.org.uk, and yeah. get yourself a professional builder. Now, I know that over the years I've had little jobs done, and, and my father, for instance, over his lifetime, had to have, uh, you know, various things done. And you get quotes and you get builders in, and then they start asking for money up front. And that, that to me, is, is a bit of a grey area, but I, I wouldn't part with all my money, I must say. I might pay a deposit. What's the uh, situation there? Well, the first bit of advice is, is do not pay anything up front. Ask for a fixed cost or a daily rate of pay for the particular job. Yeah. Get the boundaries and expectations in place with your builder. So a fixed cost and a daily roll of pay. I mean, there are cases where um, the specialist products or long-term jobs where they do ask for a deposit. But if that's the case, use a deposit guarantee scheme that will protect you and, more importantly, protect your money if anything goes wrong. Right. Interesting. So, I mean, that, that sounds like a very interesting scheme that I didn't even know existed. So where do we go for that, and where do we go for more information generally then? Well, for more information generally, you can go onto our website, as I mentioned before, www.builders.org.uk, or you can call us up and we'll be more than happy to pass that information on. 
but uh, go on to tap the find the builder service, put your postcode in, we'll give you a professional builder. They can come around and give you a quote. Peace of mind, professional builder. Interesting chat, Richard. Thank you very much for joining us, uh, Richard Beresford there from the National Federation of Builders. Thank you so much. All right, cheers now. Thank you. Bye bye. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.